My mom had three kids to look after. Married again, had one more child. We all grew up to be a happy family till the war started. The war brought a lot of hardship for us. We got disowned, everything was taken away from us. You were a owner of nothing. You got a letter in the mail, starting such and such a day, all your belongings belong to the East German government. It was living constantly in fear. And we always heard through the grapevines that the West is so much better. That's why we left. We left middle in the night and went over the border. Just what we had to carry. So there we started a new life. War is a terrible thing to happen for anybody. The aftermath was even worse. There was nothing to eat and nobody had a job. One day we heard that they need people on the farm to work the harvest. But we got paid in groceries. So we went to the farm. One night I will never forget in my life, there was that big truckload full of drunken Russian. And all they called, machas, machas, girls, girls, they all came and raped anybody they could get a hold of. I could hear that all. I ran over to my boyfriend in those days and the door opened and that one Russian came, machas. And he couldn't see, there were no matches, I was under the cover. So I was saved. That was a life experience I will never forget. We actually lived in West Germany already, but I wanted to get married in my mom's place. So we took the chance to go back over the border again. We did not realize the danger then. When we came to the judge of the peace, he said, I cannot marry you. And he said to my husband, I make you an offer. If you sign that you're going to stay in East Germany, we will let you get married. My husband signed. But then, but we had to get out. We left middle in the night and went over the border. You could see the Russians moving with the bayonets up and down the border. So we laid in the grass and waited, we took chances I would never even dream of anymore. That was our wedding night. <laughs> My husband had no papers or anything. He couldn't find a job. So he heard about Canada. He immigrated. Ten months later, I came to Canada. Don't forget, I never spoke, and neither did my husband, any English. And I said to my husband, now how can I help? I got a job in a factory after. We saved every penny we could get. No job was too dirty, too hard, but we learned the language and it helped us to get ahead. So we saved enough money to buy our own house. The happiest day in my life was when my daughter was born. A healthy little girl I wished for years to have. And I finally got my wish come true. My husband said, my daughter is going to get an education. I never had the chance. We have a saying in German, ohne Fleiß kein Preis. Be ambitious, you will get your reward. We were always ambitious. And we had our prize. We got a better life. We made a lot of sacrifices. But we got what we hoped for. <laughs>